There is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over the sinner who repents. Luke 15, 10. In that day they will say, Surely this is our God. We trusted in him and he saved us. This is the Lord. We trusted in him. Let us rejoice, rejoice and be glad in his salvation. Isaiah 25, 9. finds it, I tell you the truth, he is happier about the one sheep than about the ninety-nine that did not wander off. Matthew 18, 13. I absolutely love The Shining Ones, both in the book and in this production, because in a story where nearly every single character is a test or a lesson of some sort, the Shining Ones are just pure, unfiltered joy. We see them on stage for the first time when Christian leaves the burden of sin at the cross and finds salvation, and that celebration is truly just rejoicing, like in Luke 15, we see that there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God whenever one sinner repents. And just that illustration of being able to see what that looks like. And, you know, while it might not be too glamorous for us here on earth to lay our burdens down, just the abundance of joy that is felt for those moments in those moments of repentance um, to see what goes on around us, even when we can't see it, is such a powerful thing to bring to the stage. And then finally, in the very last scene of the production, we see the Shining Ones come together again to welcome Christian and Hopeful into the Celestial City. And, you know, it's just like we see in the Bible and in the book that we are welcomed into heaven with trumpets and with music and dancing and it's just a huge celebration and to see it come to life at the conclusion of this production is such a great reminder that you know someday all of life's struggles will be over and we will spend eternity um, with Jesus in heavens as the shining ones rejoice like this at our arrival and so I hope that what we can show the audience and what we can inspire in the hearts of everyone who comes to see this show is, you know, don't wait to celebrate. We can use the gifts and talents that he has given us. We can use the arts. We can use our voices. We can use everything we have to sing and shout the victory right now. This production has a lot of, like I said, lessons and tests, but ultimately, it's a celebration. This story is a celebration of this Christian life and this production is a celebration of that walk and the victory that we have in Jesus. So I really just hope everyone in that auditorium can feel that celebratory nature and really just be inspired to go forward and use this production as a springboard to shout his name even louder.